Hi guys, I'm Frederick from Opeth. And I'm Michael from Opeth. And you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, it's Guru Hamid here from Loudwire and look who we have joining us today. Please forgive me for being a fanboy today, but we've got Michael and Frederick of Opeth here. And of course you guys have a, such a dynamic discography. And uh, when I was listening to this new record, um, I was thinking of Heritage, I was thinking of Damnation, and then a couple of other uh, maybe nuances that I haven't quite heard yet on an Opeth record. Um, would you compare this album to any of your previous works? Um, well, I guess, you know, I, I don't know. I, I like that it sounds, if it sounds like us, that's good. And if it sounds like we like something we don't know what it is, it's also good. Okay. Um, and I guess this album has uh, some parts that sound like us and some parts that sounds kind of new to me. I don't, don't really know what it is. Yeah. But um, I don't know what to compare it to, really. I guess it's, since Heritage was the last record, it's easy to, to draw comparisons to that one. But uh, I think it's different, too. You know, it's a bit heavier than Heritage at times and a bit more melodic. Yeah. I think it, it's also, I think it's a bit e it should be a bit easier to get into, get into this record, yeah. I think, because of the, there's a lot of focus on the melodies, you know, this time around. One thing that fans will definitely recognize is that, once again, there are no gutturals on this one. And it, it made me think of... Gutturals. I like that word. I can't. <laughs> um, it made me think of a uh, time I spoke to you a while back when you were telling me that you felt like... Um, you had reached your peak with your gutturals. You didn't really have um, any much more to offer in terms of progression mm -hmm. with that, <clears throat> but you felt like your clean singing voice, that you still had a lot to offer, uh, a lot of new things to do. Um, do you think that this new album has become a new peak for your clean vocal style? Yeah, I think I sing, I sing okay on this one. <laughs> and I, like I said before, I worked a lot with the vocals, you know. Um, and you're constantly learning. I, th I don't think you can be fully learn. Like, uh, what what would you say? Like, uh, a complete vocalist when it comes to clean singing. When it comes to the death metal, I tried to I tried to sing in the high pitched type black metal sounding and really low guttural, you know. But uh, the, I got to a point where I like uh, I felt like, uh, what what else could I do? And then I got worse <laughs> too, but I kind of found found my way back to uh, how to sound evil. Very so good. We, we've been d yeah. doing some of those uh, like really heavy songs during the last couple of tours too. And on this album, there are a lot of very rich harmonies that I think you guys both did. You guys both record harmonies for this one, or is it more live that you'll do a vocally? You mean vocally? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fred it did. Some, he did like a complete power metal scream and. <laughs> one of the songs. I never heard him sing like that. Yeah. It was more like shit myself. Yeah, some type of. I tried to imitate Ian Gillen, <laughs> born again oh, kind nice. of screams. That's ambitious. But it's kind of. Yeah. Yes. It's in there in the mix, pretty low in one song. Yeah, but it's interesting. There's a lot of very rich vocal harmonies, and there's also a lot of times where uh, you're kind of projecting. I think a little with a little more force. Mm -hmm. uh, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Singing. Yeah, I, I always, you know, I always liked. Uh, Guys like uh, you know Paul Rogers and Coverdale and uh, Gillen and Dio, you know those kind oh, of yeah. those real singers, if you know what I mean. But I never considered myself to be a singer to begin with, you no? know. But my reference would be those guys. I might, as, you know, I've always been been trying to push push myself to get as close to you know my my reference as I, as I can, and uh, I guess. I also wrecked my voice a little bit oh, throughout the years, yeah. so it's a bit more raspy. Um, but, but some people com compare me to like Nickelback too. So <laughs> but yeah, there, there is a somewhat of an aggression when you're yeah. for, when you're really pushing. You know, mm -hmm. That's different from guttural vocals, but there's an aggression there. Do you think fans will be surprised from uh, maybe the vocal plethora that you're going to give them with this new record? I hope so. Well, I hope they like it, but. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, it, for, for me, when people give me props on, on anything that I do musically, um, I have a hard time taking it in. You know, okay. I don't never thought I'm good. You know, 
I have no problem, you know, like the, the, the guys in the band, like Frederick is an amazing guitar player and we have an amazing drummer, etc. But uh, when people tell me good things, I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> to people who aren't so familiar with Opeth, when I tell them about you guys, I compare your voice to that of Lucifer. <laughs> because, uh, firstly, you know, uh, in my opinion, you've got these very beautiful, soft uh, parts that really represent, you know, the fallen angel aspect of Lucifer being the beautiful fallen angel, and then of course being the demonic, evil mm -hmm. uh, devil. But with that, um, was a character like Lucifer ever maybe an inspiration for that extreme shift of vocals? And uh, who do you think balances those two extremes really well in the metal world? Wow, that's fucking difficult <laughs> question. But I, I like Lucifer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was uh, obligatory being a death metal kid in in Stockholm. Once you form your first band, you you're inspired by the cult and Satanism and all that kind of stuff. But it was so gimmicky, you know. And how it connected with the vocals or music, I, I'm not sure. You know, I was inspired by bands like for the screams. Like my favorite singer. Uh, was like Corthon from from the band Bathory. Oh yeah, yeah. I always loved his. It's really raw, <clears throat> and also Morbid Angel, David, David Vincent, Vincent, yeah, yes. and Chuck. And Mr. some guys Shiner. that sounded like Chuck. I don't know his name. The uh, band uh, Morgoth. Have you Morgoth, heard of them? Okay. I have heard of them. That singer sounded like Chuck. You know That's exactly. So he was good too. And then I liked uh, like what I say we call like pig pig sounding vocals, like no, 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 Chris Reifert. He's got like, it sounds like a pig. <laughs> yeah, but they call him the pig squeals. Like, I yeah, I love that. Um, really? Yeah, I love it. Wow. Um, but who's doing it? God, I'm not sure. Like, Devin Townsend can do, you yes, know. Absolutely. He's a really good singer and he can do some of the evil shit too. But uh, I'm not sure who else. What do you think, Frederick? About those singers? Sure. Yeah, well, they're all. Fantastic. I mean, like Devin Townsend, he can even growl in melodies, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah, he, he knows melody, that's for sure. So is it possible that with the progression of From Watershed to Heritage to this new album, uh, is it possible that Opeth is no longer interested in creating extreme metal? Yeah, it's possible, but uh, it's also possible that we do... Uh, something extreme in the future you don't you never know um, I mean we still enjoy playing those songs live yeah so like the last Michael mentioned earlier we played a lot of those songs on the last tour and we yeah we, it, it was fun so. it is fun to play those songs you know um, but writing wise I'm like in a different frame of mind right now you know besides most of my inspiration for music is drawn from from non extreme metal bands so to speak old shit basically <clears throat> which has I guess always been the case but I was also in the middle of a scene you know uh, extreme metal scene myself and uh, in the early days there was a lot of bands that I thought were really good you know like Emperor and uh, you know our colleagues at the time Catatonia and uh, Paradise Lost and whatever you know those kind of bands and uh, but it got to a point where it, the, the, the flow kind of ceased a little bit and uh, there wasn't so many new bands came out that I thought was for me if you know what I mean which is when I started listening more and more to uh, old old shit <laughs> 